Murder gangs ain't guns, they kill quick or bang, nigga. So many people know I've been trying to set up uh, a death match for December 18th in Phoenix in partnership with the owner or whatever you want to call him, man. Booker Ayoka. Of AWA. Makes a whole lot of promises. It's came through with nothing. It's really interesting nowadays how all these people in the business just get to be it's really disgusting. It's making wrestling really hard to enjoy. There are some places where I love love being a wrestler man. Shut the fuck up, man. I love being a wrestler. I love doing what I do and practicing my craft and uh, and there's people like this that just drag me down because they're all about whatever the fuck they want and how they want it. They don't know wrestling. They don't know the business. They don't know nothing. Normally, I don't I don't call people out on their bullshit a lot because to call someone out you got to be perfect yourself and I'm not perfect I'm far from perfect but if we don't start calling these people out then what it's just, just going to continue right so when I set up for this this death match, and we're setting up for it, we're getting the matches set up, and we're going through the card, and he's he's asking for the names of the wrestlers, and by he I mean Alfredo, Alfredo Manuel or Manuel Alfredo, however the fuck he wants to put his name, man. Gimmick this fuck. Bro, I swear, and if you deny any of this shit, I will put every single fucking text you, you sent me on blast. I will smear you all over this shit. Because that's how angry I am. I have spent thousands of dollars now that you have wasted. So, whatever. Alright? You ask me for the names of these people, and then when I give you the names, you act like Remington Roar is nobody. You act like you've never heard of Chewy Martinez. When you were at my show watching Chewy work, And then you act like you're just all about luchadors and CMLL. 
So I talked to some of my people over there and they don't don't fuck with you like that, bro. It's all shoot. Don't care no more. You don't start doing right, I'm gonna do a lot more shooting too. Stop being grimy. Pay these people what you owe. What's up, bro? Tired of people not doing what they supposed to, man. If you run a ship, run it right. If you're a promoter, do your wrestlers right. Treat your company right. That's what you're supposed to do. And treating them right, you treat your fans right, and everybody's done right. Another one who does this type of fuck shit out there in Texas, Joshua James. He's booked me I don't know how many times, and uh, my venue got pulled. Oh, my venue got pulled. Fucking heard that on how many times. There's another dude out there in Washington. Lucky I don't remember your name. But I'll fucking remember it, bro. And the next video I do, I'm going to pull your card too. I'm tired of this shit. Years upon years upon years. Listen to you motherfuckers. You guys act like what we ask for is too much. It ain't too much. We go out there and bust our bodies to shit for your guys' fucking enjoyment, you know? For the fans. So you can make whatever you make. And if you don't get rich, that's your fault. We're doing what we're supposed to do as performers. Uh, 27th, hit me up in a little bit, um, I might, I might know somebody, I know, uh, there's a couple companies out there that's looking for work, they need workers. Now, this is something I'm sure Gino, Gino can touch on this shit. Just like I can. There's a whole lot. Promising a lot, but giving very little. And I was, I'm not saying that as, as a promoter myself, that you give everybody what everyone else gets. Just give them their fair share, man. Give them what they're worth. Give them what they deserve. I don't promise some shit if you have no expectations or any any inkling of giving it to them. If you really don't feel like fucking giving it to them. Hey, hey I'm just telling everybody about these fuck-ass promoters out here uh, selling these hopes and dreams. I'm starting to run into quite a few of them here in Arizona, and I'm just putting them on blast. I'm not... I'm not enjoying this at all. It's it's really getting me to the point where I don't I don't even want to work in Arizona. That's why I kept my work at a minimum in Arizona in the first place. Now there's a, a couple of solid promoters out here, and I know them. Just because I don't go work there doesn't mean that they're not solid. You don't work for these people, bro. <laughs> that's that's what I'm talking about, that $20 shit. I, I'll fucking laugh. They were offering me 20 bucks. 
There was one in um, Paris, Texas that offered me, what was it, 50 or 70 bucks to go to Paris, Paris, Texas. And go fuck yourself. Fucking 70 bucks to Paris, Texas. Mm -mm. Especially when the only dude that you got on your roster that might be worth anything is some 60 year old guy. It's not worth it. I'm going. I'm going overseas this year, so. I'll be happy. Yeah. They re they rebranded that. They try to put it under some new name, and that dude hit me up. Nah. I want I want nachos. I want a drink. Maybe some some chili on the top. <laughs> And if I'm, if I'm here in AZ, I want some fried bread. Fuck that. See, at the minute, I would, I would give at least 40 bucks to the people that came. There were once or twice where, that's right, sometimes I could be fancy. I ain't gonna speak on, on who, what, when, where, but... Um, there were some that didn't deserve it, and there were some that deserved more, you know, and when they came back, I gave them more. There, there are a couple of workers that deserve more. Um, after that first shot, I was like, fuck, that's something I like to keep around. That's for, hell yeah. Get them Indian tacos going in that. on here venting a little bit I guess I'll go get my my blood results done I wish these motherfuckers would tell me if I have cancer or not just say yes or no I man it's always something shit to do. Like some Indian tacos. <sighs> Workers, go get what you're, you're worth and make sure these motherfuckers give it to you. Make sure you get what you're worth. And if these promoters are going to go out here and promise you shit and not deliver, fucking put them on blast. That's all I got to say. It's nice talking to you again, Gino. I've been watching you do your thing. I watch all the matches you post. Just know that. You're doing good. So that one you just did with Darby and War pig. It's a good match. It's a good match. You had a you have a, a strong circle with you. The ones that you travel with were definitely uh, well educated. And Dante, Dante is a bright young man. He's a bright young man. That one is going to go far. That's right. Just keep doing what you're doing.
All right, man. Hopefully, I get to chat with y'all later. Um, probably be from the gym. I gotta hit the gym again. Catch y'all later.